Okay. Right. We love you, Kevin Bacon. Bye, Kevin Bacon. Bye, Kevin Bacon. Bye. 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 Greetings to all my good, and maybe a little bad, true believers out there. Today on Antihero's Bar With No Name, we are going to be making a cocktail, modern classic cocktail, an original modern classic cocktail, based on the goodest boy that ever existed in the galaxy. Cosmo the Space Dog. What a fitting dog name to turn into a cocktail, right? I mean, it would speak for itself, but we're not gonna play this game on easy mode. This channel is not about easy mode. We are gonna go hard mode. I'm gonna add a little bit of wit, a little bit of charm, and make an original modern classic. I'm gonna combine three cocktails. One of them is not modern, but neither is the Cosmo. The Cosmo's relatively old. So today we will take all the elements that make Cosmo what he is. Intergalactic, psionic, telekinetic, whatever other adjectives Cosmo can be known as. And we are going to wrap it up in one good dog. Hence the name of the cocktail, the good dog, because damn it, Cosmo is the goodest dog in all of the galaxy. Next to Cody, my dog. Ah, he is too big of a boy and he wanted to make an appearance. Look at him. He kind of looks like Cosmo. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Say hello. Say hello. He doesn't know how to speak Russian and he doesn't have any telekinetic abilities, but he knows how to shake and that's Good for enough for me, all right? Cosmo is the goodest boy in the galaxy. Cody is the goodest boy in this household, but let's make the good dog. Let's get to know Cosmo a little bit better first. So Cosmo has a short little history in the comics. He's relatively a new character. He was actually introduced in 2008's Nova, written by Dan Abnett and Andy Lanning, or better known as DNA. Two of my favorite writers at Marvel, actually. I love the Annihilation, Annihilation Conquest event. And in Nova number eight, we actually get introduced to Cosmo, the space dog, and we get introduced to Nowhere, the celestial head that the Guardians kind of use as an HQ. So Cosmo would never ever get his own solo series, unfortunately. He is considered to just be the space dog, but he always teams up with the Guardians. And he's actually in this whole Annihilation run, he's the head security officer for the Nowhere HQ. So he's like barking orders everybody. I already made this joke in my Guardians Breakdown video that you can also check out at Antihero Comics Club. But the inspiration for Cosmo is based on a real life dog, the real life Soviet space dog that they sent in outer space, probably against its will. Well, definitely against its will. He didn't have a choice. But Laika, Laika the space dog, back in like the 50s or 60s maybe, probably still exists out there and it's probably running some HQ somewhere as a head security officer. That's my... Uh, fan fiction though. Our lovable space dog would actually see her first appearance on the big screen uh, with the Guardians holiday special. We see her for a little bit in the post credit scene, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 by James Gunn, and it's just licking the collector's face, but she would get her time to shine in the Guardians holiday special, which I thought was amazing. And fully fleshed out character in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. If you haven't checked it out yet, I recommend going and seeing it. Bring some tissues. I cried my eyes out. But before you go see the movie, you should try out this cocktail. And I'm excited to try it out today with you guys and I hope you guys can follow along. So let's go over the ingredients. So this cocktail is actually inspired by three different cocktails, three different kind of classic cocktails, one maybe a modern classic cocktail. We're gonna start with the inspiration of a Cosmo because, well, next is a white Russian. And then last is an espresso martini, a very popular cocktail. Everybody is ordering espresso martinis everywhere. And it's like one ingredient removed from a white Russian. But you know what? We're adding that ingredient today. So we will start with some vodka. And I am using Reka vodka. It's an Icelandic vodka. I like the mellowness of it. I know, I know I should be using a Russian vodka, but I am not. And I don't really like vodka that much, um, but I think any vodka will do. Uh, just don't get smeared off. So then we're gonna be using this special liqueur I found. It's Boggs Cranberry Liqueur. And I just kind of stumbled upon this. I was looking for cranberry syrup, like something sweet, but I was like, oh, you know what? This is gonna go even better because I didn't want it to be too sweet. Espresso martinis are like, supposed to be kind of bitter with the espresso and everything like that. But this cranberry liqueur is going to help us out a lot and it's going to infuse it with our Cosmo inspiration. And then next we will be using Cold Brew Mr. Black straight out of Australia. I mean, this stuff is absolutely fantastic. 
and I recommend it to everybody. And for all you coffee lovers out there, it is an essential in your home bar. And then we're gonna be using a little Demerara syrup. We're gonna be using an espresso shot. We'll say it's freshly poured for the video, but we all know it wasn't. And then I got some heavy cream. And don't worry about the shot dying. The shots don't really die. That's just something they tell Starbucks employees so they can work faster. I know because I was a Starbucks employee, so. But um, we're gonna be using some heavy cream and this is the white Russian influence. So we got the Boggs Cosmo influence, the heavy cream white Russian influence. I'm actually really excited to try this one. So without further ado, let's make the good dog. So first we're gonna add our Reka vodka and we're gonna do one and three quarters ounce. So you start with your one and a half ounce and then you just put a little quarter ounce in there after. And then next, we're gonna do our half ounce of the Boggs cranberry liqueur. You are more than welcome to grab a cranberry syrup if you can't find this. I just happened to stumble upon it. I was like, it's gonna be perfect for this cocktail. But find a cranberry, cranberry sauce, cranberry syrup, water it down a little bit, have at it. After that, we're gonna do the half ounce of our Mr. Black coffee liqueur. This is that good stuff. So the shot I pulled is actually literally three quarters of an ounce and that's what we're gonna be using. So three quarters of an ounce of a shot or just one whole espresso shot. And then we're gonna do half ounce of our Demerara syrup. It's a semi-rich syrup. You can use a rich syrup or just a basic simple Demerara syrup. It's all about the ratios, all about the ratios. And then last, we're just gonna use a tiny bit of heavy cream, just a quarter of an ounce, just to kind of give it a little color, a little texture to make it a little more Russian, a little more white Russian, right? You're gonna grab your cheater tin and normally I put ice in it. I'm not gonna do ice first. I'm gonna do a dry shake first. Get that, a lot of that texture out of the espresso. Get a nice little foam and then we're gonna wet shake it with the ice for about 15 seconds. So you don't need a dry shaker for too long. So after you're done dry shaking it, you're gonna crack it open and you're gonna fill your cheater tin with your ice. Close that up after your dry shake, and now you're gonna wet shake it for about 15 seconds. After you're done shaking it, you're gonna grab your nice chilled glass. I'm using a chilled coupe, and then we're gonna double strain it into the chilled glass. Lastly, for the garnish, you have to garnish your espresso martinis with coffee beans. Typically, people do three, but since Cosmo is a good boy slash girl in the movies, we're gonna give her four. So there you have it, the good dog. I just say good dog because I don't want to say good boy, good girl, Cosmo is both. So the good dog, let's try it. Excelsior, cheers. Wow, yeah. The espresso martini is crazy. It's probably the only vodka drink I will drink just because you don't taste the vodka. Like the vodka is so subtle. People use vodka in like party drinks and shots and stuff like that. And I just, it's never been my thing. I've been more of a craft cocktail kind of guy but the espresso martini is good. You don't taste the cranberry liqueur as much as I thought you were gonna taste it. So it just tastes like a very good and creamy espresso martini. I'd actually be curious to use a little bit more bogs, maybe go a little lighter on the Mr. Black, but it's still delicious. So have you ever had an espresso martini? No. Oh, okay, well try mine. It's actually nice, it's brown, it's nice. You like coffee, you might like it. And you like vodka too, so. That's good. Good. That's like a creamy mm. coffee. It sure is. <laughs> yeah, you don't really taste the cranberry. You kind of do at the very end. I only used a half ounce, so your mileage may vary. I bet if you use cranberry syrup or cranberry like sauce, the sugars in that and the preservatives and stuff will probably come through it a lot more. I actually don't even know what this is based on. I don't know if it's like a vodka base. If it's a vodka base, it probably got hidden with the vodka as well, so. The Good Dog, a psionic telekinetic take on um, three modern classic, classic cocktails. So feel free to comment down below. Uh, let me know if there's any character you want to see turn into a cocktail mocktail. I'm open to any character. I know I do a lot of Marvel. I'm a big Marvel zombie. Marvel DC, indie comics even. I'll give it my shot at it. I like all comics, so we'll give it a shot. Be sure to check out my other episodes of the Antiheroes Bar With No Name, as well as my other series, if they tickle your fancy. I made one for Moon Knight to launch the channel with, and I launched it with a Guardians of the Galaxy shooter lineup as well. A couple days ago, I released my Adam Warlock cocktail and then my very first mocktails. So check those out. And like I said, comment down below if there are any other characters you want to see me adapt into a cocktail mocktail. That is all. Anti-hero, out. Say hello.